Good evening, and welcome to GCN versus Zwift, live from Utopia Island, where we're going to venture deep inside a volcano. So basically, it's Cy Richardson versus the Watopia volcano. It's going to be hot. The action is going to be hot, and it is hot here. It certainly is very, very hot. hot inside so, the volcano. First time either of us, I think it's fair to say, Tom, have been inside an actual volcano, but... Hopefully not the last. Hopefully not the last, but the, the riders are going to be passing by. Well, let's explain a little bit about what's in store tonight. We have a race around Watopia Island, 49.3 kilometres in length. That's, in old money, 31.1 miles, comprising of four laps of 12.3 kilometres, 7.7 .7 miles. And our man, Simon Richardson, is at the moment on the grid. But before we speak to Si, let's have a little look at the course that lays in store for our field tonight. We understand about 60 to 70 riders are currently on the grid. We'll just get that information through for you in a moment. It's a newly, well, it's a new, a new part of Zwift. It's called the, well, the Forward Volcano Long Loop. So we'll just get that through in a couple of moments' time. Well, here we go. Here we go. It's a beautiful day on Watopia. Basically, the riders will start off at Watopia Pier, and then, Quite incredibly, after only about half a kilometre, they head underground, under the water on Ocean Boulevard, heading due south through the biodome. And as you can see, it's an absolutely gorgeous day Stunning on Watto. I mean, look at that. Look at the reflection on the ocean there, Tom. And then we hit this series of switchbacks before swinging left. And as you can see, the volcano looms in the distance. But thankfully, the riders won't be going over it. They'll actually be going through the centre of the volcano itself before they emerge, probably rather sweaty, Steaming. out the other side, back across the ocean to the rather nifty glass bridge, then swinging a hard left, and then they resume the traditional Watopia finishing straight. But the big, big question will be, Tom, who is going to reign supreme today? Will it be our very own Simon Richardson? Well, Cy is, Cy is looking strong, isn't he? He is. He is. He's been in training for this. He's, well, he's looking nervous. Look very nervous. He's had his final meal, as it were. We understand it was granola with semi-skinned milk, but I think we should have a chat with Simon. Do you want to, do you want to go and get him? We'll, uh, we'll bring him in for a bit of a natter. We understand he's in the pen warming up. It would be great to have a couple of uh, words with Si. I can just see him on the monitor there. Yeah. Here he is. He might be a bit sweaty. Luckily, we've he's, got some GCN towels to dab his brow with. He's not with. been through the volcano yet, though. So I won't give him any not... nuts, though. Si, just mind, mind the lead there, bud. All right. There you go. So, how's things? All right, I'm warming up. Not that. Yeah, thanks, mate. How there you go. Well, uh, yeah. yeah, I'm feeling all right, yeah. but there's a guy on the start line that's kind of psyching me out because his bike has no chain and his wheels change colour. He's got like a fluoro, like neon I, bike, I, I'm and I just, don't know quite what that means. Lastly, can you have a look in the rule book? I don't know if that is allowed, even in a virtual world, but I've never seen it's it's not, in the UCI race. It's not in the UCI right. rule book, but that doesn't right. mean it's excluded here. Yeah, so. but anyway, it's, it's good. There's more and more, more people joining. Yep. There's a guy called Matt Stevens in GCN kit. So he, he might have accidentally entered, but has decided maybe to just watch from the sidelines. So you might, you might uh, not go very fast. I, no, okay. I might be watching, but fully, fully in my full ASOS kit. Yeah, as, right. as That's if. cool, mate. Yeah, no but more importantly, this race, Si, is going to be an hour long, yeah. four laps. Quite yeah. flat, though. Only some sort of benign little climbs. But what's your strategy? Because we understand these races, they kick off. Yeah, that's what I've heard too. So, so I'm prepared to go full gas from the gun. I'm expecting a cyclocross start here. But then it's just going to be a case of hiding, I think, because my, most of my riding is done on my commute, my, my training, and that's like half an hour when I go full mm. gas. So that's, there's, a, there's a quite a deficit there between a half-hour commute and an hour-long race. So, uh, so Box Clever is going to be the name of the game at the beginning, and then hopefully I've got something left to smash it. Are you going to leave it to a sprint? No. No, I will not leave it to a sprint. I don't want to divulge all my tactics, but let's put it that too way. Much if I away. leave it to a sprint, I will guaranteed finish at the back of whatever bunch I'm in. And just, I think, an important, I think an important question, sorry to cut across there, Tom, from a health and safety perspective, have you ever ridden through the centre of a volcano before? No, no, I haven't. So hopefully by the end of today, then I'll... Of you know generated enough experience that you know I can sort of share it amongst us and we'll all what be a, what sort a, of proficient at volcano riding. But um, but yeah, I mean it's it's a it's a new experience. Is it going to be grippy or is it going to be slippy? Mm. I'm 
guessing it's going to be warm, mm. but uh, otherwise, yeah, this is a totally new thing for me. So what about your feeding strategy? I mean, are we going for a two bo- I, I understand, without giving too much away, you're going for a two bottle, one gel strategy. That is exactly right. So I've got two bottles, both with Science Sport Go Hydro, so only electrolytes, no Good carbs. Stuff. But then I'm a little bit concerned about the length, as I said. So mm. I'm going to try and smash a gel after about 15 minutes, just to guard against that last tail off. I mean, on paper, you've got enough carbs stored to do 90 minutes, but you know, mentally, you just need that. You need that little boost, don't you? What about nuts? Well, they could be valuable. So perhaps if you came through and, and brought your nuts uh, at some point I've, mid-race, and if I feel like I need a salty snack uh, or, 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 or cheese and onion crisps. We've got it all yeah. here, Si. Yeah. Just give us a shout on I've the I've never monster. had nuts in a bike race before. This could be the first time. Yeah. They're probably good for longer races, but, you know, maybe nuts in a crit. Well, maybe. this is going to be something quite special. Simon, get back on the hockey. All right, thanks, Get mate. yourself warmed up. Go and warm very, up again. Hey, tell you what, mate. The very best of luck. Thank you very much, chaps. Thank Good you very much. Simon. Well, enjoy. I know it's the internet, but I'm going to ask for a round of applause. Thank you much indeed. <laughs> Old school meets the internet right there. His hands were really sweaty. They were quite yeah, sweaty. It did, grim, did actually it, yeah. slightly drip on me a bit there, Tom. I mean, Safe I've, to say, I've for a few years. already hot. It's, um, indeed. Well, the rides are warming up. We've only got... Uh, we've still got about 10 minutes before the start. soft tapping. He's not... He is. Looks like he's not putting his uh, full 200 watts through there. Well, I think the thing about these, these races um, is the fact that they go off very, very quick. Okay. I was chatting to former national road champion Russ Downing the other day, who raced on Zwift just a couple of weeks back. He was putting out 800 watts from the start and was dropped. Really? I mean, what's all that about? It's just, just not really normal, is it? Okay, so we know that Sai was talking about tech, and yep. specifically the guy with glowing wheels and no chain yeah. and apparently the whole of Facebook live have said that's a Tron bike Si a Tron bike yeah blimey I don't think you heard I don't know if he's got I even more nervous by hearing that, that information filmmakers but it is a Tron bike so thank you for saying that um, well thanks for, to Pete for your very kind words uh, Tom Natale I have eaten dinner as had Matt we had pizza we did which compares very favourably to Simon's granola that was We're saying that Simon did go out for lunch earlier, had a pizza earlier, so he oh, had an okay, earlier okay. pizza pit stop, as it okay, were, okay. so it should be well and truly going to convert okay. into carbs for him, I guess. Adrian Tipple is asking, where's Dan tonight? Too many mineral waters. And Adrian, I like Tipple and too many mineral waters. That's quite a good It's a beautiful a good sort words, of uh, yeah. Yeah, segue there. Uh, keep the comments coming on Facebook, because we, we do have some cheeky little prizes to give away. We've got Zwift bottles, we've got GCN Camelback bottles. We've got GCN Pock Pack. Mobile phone cases, as used by us, and we've, we've got, got a stack of GCN t-shirts. We have, including the prestigious and very, very hard to find, and fun to get, wattage bazooka t-shirts as well. Super limited. You'll be the envy of the Pro Peloton if you get your hands on that one. And what we're going to do throughout the race is nip in and out of, some, what do we call it, Simon's kind of booth, where he is sat in there? We nip in and out, have a chat with Simon to see how he progresses throughout the race, offer him some nutrition, some water, etc., because this is going to be a pretty long race. I'm going to give you a few stats right now okay. as well. Stat attack. Stat Stand by. Attack. Um, well, before we go on to stats, let's talk about some of his rivals, Tom. Because there's some, there's some talent out there. Okay. I think primarily he needs to watch out for a chap called Kim Little, who uh, boasts an FTP of 352. Um, so that's, that's, a, that's a powder weight ratio of 5.17, which is, which is pretty good. He's only seven, 70 kilograms. That's a pretty punchy that power. Is, that's very impressive. Watch out also for, I'm assuming he's Welsh, uh, Welsh, Daffid Williams for KISS Racing Team. He clocks in with an FTP of 290. Also, Michael Skamansky is there. Stefan Kung, Shaw Gray and Steve Fleetwood, amongst others. That was a good stat attack, Matt. Thanks Actually, we want to know your predictions for this race as well. Will Simon win? Let us know yes or no in the comments. And just out of interest, let us know your FTP as well, because I like, I like a good stat, don't you, Matt? Well, it's, it's quite interesting. But back onto the stats again. This, Simon's going to be in Group A of, yeah. of the KISS race. There's actually four races going on concurrently for different categories of riders. So we've got A, B, C, and D. Basically, the A category is for riders who have 4 watts per kilogram and over. Yeah. Uh, category B, 3.2 watts to 3.99 uh, what, um, FTP, sorry. And then 2.5 to 3.9 is category C, and then category D is under 2.49 watts per kilogram. And the fastest riders will go up first, so they don't get tangled up, basically. You know what, Matt? I think that we could well see a lap record here today. So the, I'm reading that the lap, fastest lap ever recorded on this circuit is 14 minutes and 34 seconds. 
That is rapid. And if, if we see a good battle at the front, I think that's going to fall. I understand. That is on Strava. That's, that's clocking just over 50k an hour. And let's get some more stats in here, because while we're talking stats, uh, I think an astonishing... It's saying here on Strava, 564 watts for that lap. That's kind of our record material. That's wattage bazooka material, for that sure. That is right there, for but sure. we shall see if Sai can drop a few of those watches bazookas tonight. But as we said before, this isn't an overly hilly route. No. We know that on, uh, on Watopia we have the classic hilly route, then of course we have the mountain route yeah. up over the Watopia Alps. But this is quite a fast route, uh, and I think it's going to be quite crucial for Sai to stay amongst the wheels of rest, because, I mean, during an hour, it's essentially, I guess, Tom, going to be like a crit, isn't it? And I think like an, an hour... A flatter hour as well is often just as hard as a hillier hour yeah. because you, you've no respite. So Sai is going to have to be going flat out all the time. The average gradient, well, obviously that's 0% because it's a circuit, but the steepest gradient is 6% and there is very little height gain on this. Very just 46 metres a lap. Very little at all. And of course, the rods are going to be you know, have to keep making sure they're fully hydrated, especially as they pass behind us through the centre of the Watopia volcano. Again, this is the first race we've streamed live from inside a volcano. I don't know how me and Tom are going to do, so we've got plenty on board to keep us fully hydrated, so please don't worry too much about us. Well but you can, you can Facebook us pictures of your snacks as well. And I think the best snack of the night is going to get a Snack Attack Award in the form of a T-shirt combined with a bead on. Well, that's very generous, Matt, and you've said it there. Um, shout out to Ricardo Santos, who is in the C category and has asked for a shout out. Yes, you can have a shout out, Ricardo. Carol Widutch is asking, is Cy nervous? He did look nervous, didn't he? He did, he, he was shaking, he looked. Well, excuse me, I just got a few nuts in my yeah. mouth, but yeah, um, Simon was looking, he's quite an outgoing chap, is, is Simon, but he was looking a little bit worried earlier on, a little bit focused. I've not seen him like that since. We all raced together, of course, in the same yeah. team back in the day, but this means a lot to Simon. He's been training specifically for this event. He's, um, he's focused, I understand he's tapered as well. To be honest, I can't see him being stopped. Yeah, definitely. And actually, interestingly, we have got a comment from Mike Jackman, who's asking this or the GCN show. Mike, Mike you, can, you can have the best of both worlds by watching both. Or the evening is long if it's evening in your place. How Pardon about me? a simulcast of the GCN show on, on one mobile device and then this live on another? Fully immerse yourself in the world of GCN inside a volcano. Yeah. Okay. Two minutes, 50 seconds, Tom, till blast off. And it really is a blast. I'm just looking at the grid at the moment. Everybody is pretty much in the pen. I'm just going to move away and try to get some information on how many riders we've got final line up. Just hold on for a second, Tom. I'm just going to move out of the booth. Bye, Matt. What are the numbers, Matt? Score well, on the door. We've got 109 riders in the Category A race that, of course, Simon is going to be taking part in. I think, it was, I, think I heard 569 across all four events, which is absolutely spectacular. That is incredible. That is incredible stuff. Just coming into, un well, just around two minutes before the start now, riders continually warming up. As you can see, all in their virtual home trainers in the pen. And just a quick refresh of the course, they head towards the Watopia Pier, straight. They swing a left onto Ocean Boulevard. Subtle downhill section there, then it's a very, very fast southerly approach through the biodome. They come out of the water, then they swing hard right through the wind farm, through the marina, series of switchbacks, then they go through the village, then they head towards the volcano. They don't take the first right through the centre, they go round the outside and then into the volcano before heading back across the water and then through the traditional finish at, uh, in Watopia near the pier. And of course, there are time checks on the course. We'll have, we're going to give the information on who, well, who, who the leaders are, what kind of times are being posted. Remember, four laps of 12.3 k's. We expect this to take around about an hour. Just coming up, one minute and ten seconds to go. My heart is racing now. Uh, I Tom, I'm excited. I'm, I am Cool, I'm in the zone. Very, very excited about what is going to be kicking off today. Okay, we've got a couple of new Zwift subscribers getting involved in the comments, so maybe, maybe guys, next time you get involved in the race. Definitely. Definitely. We know these races are on every Tuesday, so uh, please get involved. And as we said, 
All abilities are welcome, four categories available, so regardless of your ability or experience, there is a race for you. We've got a big Simon Richardson fan, Michael Chabris, in the YouTube comments is saying, break from the gun and hold the lead for the entire race, you are immortal. That's a risky strategy, but hey, fair play. I mean, that would be certainly riding this race with panache. 30 yeah. seconds to go. That would, yeah. Uh, James Cameron, no, I don't think he is in tonight. Lance is probably not on the start line. I didn't see Lance no. on the start line, to um, be honest with you. Colin Smith has cancelled his use, usual Tuesday evening television for this. Really? Great decision, Colin. I, well, we this, can't fault you for I mean, that. when do you get a race broadcast live from the centre of a volcano, for crying out loud? This is at, this is, we're this, breaking ground. This is a world first. Well, volcanoes do break ground it's, as well, don't they? They do. It's, well, yeah. here we go. One, and we're off. We almost we're, missed the start. Oh, They've gone. They've gone. I've been left behind because... I'm here, but they are literally off 50 kilometers an hour. Come on, Matt. Absolutely Come on, Matt. No, I've, I've You're got not going no anywhere. You've got, got full no pockets chance. as well. And they're off. Okay. So Richardson. Selling, yeah, settling to his rhythm very, very early. He's got the Richardson all wiggle very, going very on good. the bike there. Look, at, he's already going hard there. It is cyclocross start for Simon. Surely he can't really be smiling. I think that's a grimace. I think that's a grimace. No doubt we saw some serious wattage bazookas drop there. There he is. Look at him. Is that him? I think Simon that's him. He's just moving up the Giving outside, it some out the giving, saddle. Yeah, I mean, he knew he had to start fast. And of course, with Simon's cyclocross background, that's given him a little bit of an advantage. I mean, you're a cyclocross rider yourself. Positioning at the beginning of a cyclocross race, I suppose there is a comparison to this. It's just basically straight out of the blocks. Yeah, straight out of the blocks. And Cy was, uh, Cy was like you said, great pedigree as a cyclocross rider. Although he was also very strong towards the end of a cyclocross race, very good endurance, which I guess comes from the road background. So we could well see him come through at the end too. Have you just been dropped again or are you? I have been dropped. Yeah. I'm just trying to get back in again. But Simon there, okay. rocking and rolling a little bit. I think what we'll see is Simon's the power form. Down. Yeah, his form and shape sort of settle in. I don't think these sort of watts are sustainable. He's putting out, I mean, 370 yep. watts at the moment. Is that really sustainable? I don't know. He's looking in quite a state of distress, but I'm hoping after a couple of minutes, as we generally see in these races, Tom, things will settle down. Surely he can't keep up this, this I, rate or not. Personally speaking, I would be in a s severe state of distress were I putting out 370 watts for this amount of time. I don't know about you, Matt. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I likewise, definitely. Yeah. We're just on Ocean Boulevard now. He's going hard, just isn't he? Just heading into the series of tunnels, and it won't be long before they actually head underwater, where it won't be hot... It'll be not. <laughs> I, don't, I think we needed a water emoji for that, not a thumbs yeah, down. Yeah, it wasn't quite the right one. We kind of reused these. But Sorry about that. It would be cool. It would be cool. Look at the face of Simon. That's a face I can look at look for at a very, that. very long time. Matt look will be back that. in a few minutes. In the meantime, leave your comments on the Facebook live stream Please video do. or the YouTube live stream video. Who's going to win this? And we've had a very personal question in from... Uh, Andrew Block, who says, what is Simon's FTP? And I think, you know. Well, his stats are up there. I think it'd be fair. His FTP, I think he put it in at 340, which is pretty respectable. It's massive. Pretty respectable. I get it just touching 400 watts. We're only a couple of minutes into this race. 400 watts. Well, I'm, I'm just blown away. Yeah. He's moving up the bumps, trying to hold position. And what he doesn't want to do, Tom, early on is let an elite breakaway go clear. Certainly he needs, not. To, keep, Certainly need not. to keep tabs. We have got, so James Barlow on Facebook, thank you for your comment. But your cash is on Kim Little. I mean, yeah, Kim's strong, James, but we're supporting Cy as well tonight. I was expecting a bit more love for kind of Richardson's hopes in this race on the comments already, weren't you, Matt? Uh, yeah, a little bit more support for Simon would be appreciated, but look at him there. He's, he's on the hood. He's going hard, isn't he? He's looking comfy. I'm just trying to peer and see how much of his jersey is unzipped. It looks like it's three quarters unzipped at the moment. He's still got a little bit of play. It wouldn't surprise me if I see him toss that jersey aside before the end of the race just to maximise cooling down, but still well over 300 watts. Remember, FTP of 340, so that means he can hold his, that power for around about an hour. He's above it. Look at it, 351, not this slight drag. They're just going to be emerging out, well, not out of Oton Boulevard itself, but out of the water, heading towards the biodome now, but still in the centre of the bunch and looking pretty smooth at the moment. It's a good strategy he's employing there. So, Matt, we have an entry for your best snack of the evening competition. Okay, hit me with from, it. Uh, Aguidio on YouTube. Thank you for your comment. Who says, I've got the popcorn ready. I, that's a good snack, but I'm a little underwhelmed. I think we can do better than that for snacks tonight. When I Especially like, if it's a t-shirt. Have you ever tried salty and sweet popcorn combined? Now that's a snack attack. I've, I've never tried that, Matt. I, 
we'll have to... 398 watts. This is going to be digging deep into Simon's reserve. Look at this, punching just under 500 watts, just wow. to stay with the bunch. Bazook I'm speechless. What is bazookas left, right, and centre? I, I need a sip. I feel like awarding him a bazooka now, and we've still got a, we've still got a long, long way to go. Still very early on the first lap. Just emerging out of the biodome. In a moment or two, Tom, they'll be swinging right, heading towards the wind farm. Then they go through the marina, and you can just see in the distance there, Tom, the smoking volcano. It is looming on the horizon In which there, we it? sit. And when they come into the volcano, remember to look round and give Simon a cheer. Definitely, definitely. So... Um, Someone else has entered the snack competition, Ant Daniels on Facebook also. Thank you very much for your comment. You have mushroom, shiitake mushroom jerky, which Ooh. I've never heard, never heard of that either. That sounds quite... That's pretty exotic. I'm, I think a few of you are going to struggle to beat that tonight. Yeah, I think that could be the, on the leaderboard, basically, of the snack attack so far. Let's have a little look, a glance, well, a glance at what's happening. They're, They're on the gravel go, road. They are, just on the gravel road. Look at how realistic this is. Look at all the dust kicking up. Over the up. wooden bridge. Just going over the bridge. I said you can see that smoking volcano there, but uh, Simon, holding steady. We've got the current leader is actually M. McIntosh of the KISS team, closely followed by M. Brock, and then A. Vegan, funny name there, from Australia, I think, unless that's New Zealand, but it's a very, very small yeah, icon. I think that might be New And then I in fourth tell. place is S. Hine. So, I mean, let's just put this into perspective. Early days, we said it was going to go out, out the blocks fast. Just look at these watts per kilo for that first digit. 12.8 watts per kilo was Michael McIntosh, <laughs> followed by an 11.5. We've got 15.9 watts per kilo for the first 1.5 kilometers. That's like, it's like a rocket ship. Now, I don't want to... I, I don't want to speak out of turn here, but it does, to me, look as though uh, M. McIntosh may have gone out Way a little too hard. bit too fast. 191 beats a minute out of a maximum heart rate of 204. You'll be, you'll be seeing stars, mate. Well, he's, cur he's currently doing 800 watts. 800 watts. Whereas Michael M. Brock in second place is 109 beats a minute out of 173 possible. So you're in a better place, but the leader is, the leader is in the red. Hard. Well, Simon is still nudging well above 320 watts. Thankfully... It's just not, it's just starting to settle down, but Simon looking like he's sat pretty at the head of affairs there. Still McIntosh leading. We've got several trigger points on the circuit to help us keep in touch with how the riders yeah. are doing, but that was a ridiculously fast start by McIntosh from uh, Team X Kiss. Again, I don't think that kind of power is sustainable, but Simon looking very, very good, still putting out the power, starting to settle, but his face is written with the pain of effort. Okay, so as we... Uh I guess as we get nearer and nearer to the volcano, we have a few people who are, if not in riding through a hot place, they are enjoying a hot snack as they're having a curry. That wasn't a seamless segue, I apologize. That was a pretty seamless segue, well, Tom. Well done, mate. Well okay, played, anyway. actually. Cheers. Cheers, Si. Well played. Cheers, Si. We're having a drink for you, mate. Just give us a couple okay. of moments. Veggie Reggie, could Si use an e-bike? No, that would be deeply, deeply immoral. It, That's oh, cheating. We did, we did talk about it before the start, and he point blankly said, no, there's no way. I'm an yeah, honourable man. We, we wouldn't let him do that. that I'm not going to cheat. Be, that would be awful. Hans Scatchy on Facebook. Thank you for your comment. Keep your comments coming in on Facebook and YouTube. Has said, it looks like Simon might need those nuts. Well, I think we're going to kind of hold back. We're not, yeah. Lap one, we're not going to give him the nuts. I think at a handful of nuts in the last 10K, like the old finale flask of old, but in nut form. I, don't, I think you might, you might see that again quite soon. I probably think you on probably would. Yeah, that would be... Got some, more, uh, got some more info out on the course. Well, it's now B. Hansen of Denmark out in front for the KISS A team. Uh, again, they went through 4.4 Ks in 5 minutes 47 seconds. <laughs> Doesn't take a lot to work out. That's an extremely high average speed, knocking out an average of 7.7 .7 watts per kilogram. I can tell you now, this sort of speed is not sustainable at all, but it makes for fantastic viewing. Fantastic stuff here. Simon takes a swig from his bottle. Come on, Si. Come on, Si. Good work, mate. Um, D. Schmidheimany in third place, for, all the way from Switzerland, has put out an incredible 9.3 watts per kilogram in this first four and a half kilometers. That is, that's very good work. That is that. absolutely nuts. Thank well, you to Alex Millard as well for your comment on Facebook, who said he's loving the Swift Lives and we should do more. Well, I'm, I'm loving it. Yeah, I think we've Simon got, needs the training as well. Yeah. We've got drinks, but uh, maybe Simon's loving it in a slightly different way, I think, by the look on his face. But as I said, I'm, I'm constantly surprised by the power that's been put out by these athletes on Zwift tonight. It really is fascinating. Of course, it's not just about racing on Zwift. You can 
do what you want and you can write any direction you want at any speed as long as you've got an AMP Plus device and a Wi-Fi connection. Get on Zwift, 10 bucks a month. It's an absolute steal. I want it three times a week. Absolutely love it. Incredible stuff. We have got a really nice comment here from Gemma Camnell on Facebook, who is watching this in the John Ratcliffe Hospital in Oxford with her boyfriend Phil, who came off his bike this weekend. Gemma, thank you for your comment, and Phil, all the best. Hope you're back on the bike. Well, Si, it looks like Simon did nudge in front there. Just took a really? little bit of the wind, still riding at just under 400 watts. But the, the, the amazing thing about, about Zwift, we didn't really explain it at the top of the program, apart from the, the realistic parkours, is the fact that when Simon drops to within the wheels of the peloton, he actually does get a realistic draft, drafting effect. And he's obviously on a, a smart train, he's on a wahoo yep. kicker. And when he sits behind, the software, the algorithms within Zwift itself basically replicate what it's like riding on the road. And that's, of course, the same for the gradients and the descents as well. It is a kind of, it is virtual riding at its finest. Okay, well, let's get some of the size stats. You're, Simon is on, uh, his max power is 987 watts. That's Ooh. worth a fist bump, isn't it? That is. Look at that, Si. He's still got it as Si. Look at that. I think he's got more than he ever had there. <laughs> it's just how long can he hold on? He's still. I, I'm actually a little bit concerned for his welfare. I might have to go and give him a little hug in a minute just to reassure I'm him. Not sure, I'm gonna not sure he's okay. going to fully appreciate that. But. He's not looking too happy, and he's only like he's not even a lap in yet. Anyway, come on, that's si. by the by. There are some. I mean, B. Hansen still out in front for Denmark, closely followed by C. Williams of the Kiss team, and then we have D. Schmidheine of Switzerland in third place from Team X, S. Mitchell, and then. The Commissar of Norway in fifth position, and it really is a multinational affair, well, right from great. all that's over the world. That's, yeah. that's an amazing thing. Matt, I think we should do one of our first giveaways. Go for it. Um, I reckon we are going to give a couple of phone cases to Gemma Camnell and her boyfriend in the hospital after a bike crash, recovering. Oh, okay. Get in touch, on, get in touch Gemma. Send us a direct message. And these will be winging their way to you. They really are great. Keep your phone. Pop pack phone cases. Sweat free. Phone. If you happen to Sweat be using free. your phone on Zwift, it's not going to get sweaty and soggy if you use these. And these are also available in the GCN shop as well. Shop.globalcyclingnetwork.com. So Kim Little, who is favoured by several people, including James Little, possibly a relation. Mm. Um, James Little commenting in on Facebook there, is running back in 15th. So quite closely marking Sai, actually. Sai si si was in ninth at the last check. I think that's the best place. He doesn't want to... Uh, there won't be, won't be long, you know. Sorry to change the subject so, so swiftly. It won't be long before they actually come into the volcano itself. So we'll watch out for them. They're just swinging around the, the far left-hand side of the island. There, Simon. Again, I've said it. Top fully unzipped. Here they are inside in the volcano. Let's have a glance behind to see what we can see. Live broadcast from inside the volcano. Give them a cheer as they go by. They should come into sight in just a few moments, Tom. They're going to they're gonna absolutely they fly past, And this they? is the part where, this is where fluids, all about fluids. You'd imagine, they're they're, here they are. They're Give me, go on, Sai. Come, come on, on Sai. Get stuck in, Sai. Hold those wheels. <laughs> absolutely fantastic. I tell you what, it is super hot in here. That magma is unbelievable. But viewers, we can assure you, Matt will be keeping his shirt on. Oh, um, Christ. And I guess appropriately now we've got a comment in from Wolf Ellis on YouTube. Thank you for all of your comments. Do keep them coming in on both Facebook and YouTube. He said, is the GCN crew going to measure Simon's sweat in litres? I think Simon's gone clear. He's, gone he's clear. launched one through the volcano. That cheer from oh, us. No, no, he's not anymore. Oh, wait, he's been What's caught. He he's been caught. He's, <laughs> I think that's worth a watch his bazooka from our very own Simon Richardson. Nudging 400. He can't win a t-shirt, but you can. Keep the comments coming. Absolutely. We had just awarded Simon a watch his bazooka there. We shall award that after the show. Bit of a crafty attack, perhaps in the dimmed light of the volcano. <laughs> perhaps taking energy from the magma itself he's shot off in front only to be closely marked by the rest of the bunch he's mad. they Why won't let him that? do that again oh because he loves it he's riding with panache he's riding with flair I think yeah might want to might want to ride with a little less yeah well we, we've not even finished the first lap Tom I'm worn out we are yeah, it is I'm, I'm getting tired as well well there's the peloton just rolling through though that joy it's, it's the combination of a tunnel and a bridge in glass we're emerging just out of the tunnel now then they'll swing a hard left and this is a part of the circuit if you've ridden swift before haven't ridden the volcano route 
you'll be well familiar with this famous, famous finishing straight. So they'll be swinging left at the moment. Simon again takes the lead, taking that win. So much power to spare. We wanted to have spare. a word with him. I mean, literally power to spare. I think the others have started a bit too fast. He looks distressed, though. He does look very distressed. It's good for him to have the portrait sent in by a GCN fan of you and Dan over his shoulder. Inspirational, that, that will, sure. that, that yeah, will definitely will spur him on. I mean, once they've crossed the line for the first time, should we rove? Should we do some roving? I think we should. And have a little bit of a word with our site. Goran Raven on YouTube has said there are going to be more bangs in this race in about 10 minutes than you would see on Bonfire Night. There's going to be a lot of explosions. There are. Mushroom clouds galore around the course. Without a shadow of a doubt, I have to get some photos. Bazooka's left, right and centre. But Simon now... Well, I'm glad to see he's sheltering amongst the wheels now in the centre of the bunch. Just goes to the front. They know what it's like. Moves to the front, hovering around second or third position, making sure he doesn't let anybody go clear. It's interesting to see Side doing this early on the race because, like he said, he does not want to let us go down to a sprint. He's going to try and he's going to try and ride away before then. He says there's almost 200 meters to go now to the end of the first lap. So we've got uh, Ron Martin on Facebook. He's very cleverly commented: "Is that a magma bazooka rather than a wattage bazooka?" It, we could we could just for this particular show. It's we an could eruption. Re, we it's could an eruption. Re, it is an eruption of sorts. A power eruption. Well, they've just gone through the finish line. We'll get the confirmation of who crossed the line first on lap number one. Three laps to go, so 7.7 .7 miles have been completed. That's 12.1 k's on this primarily flat circuit. Simon Richardson deep into the red, but I think what he has got up his sleeve, Tom, without a shadow of a doubt, is experience and, and brawn. And power. And power. Clearly. And lovely hair as well. That's, he he does quite, have a great perm, doesn't he's he? Got, we might have to have a look at We've his got, perm, maybe... Um, uh, Yes, we yeah. have Andreas Haydenstadt commenting in from Denmark, who is currently working as a sergeant in the Royal Palace as, as we speak. So, a little royalty for you, he says. That's, that's, it's, 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 cool. Is he you're on duty? You're allowed to watch GCN in, anyone, in a volcano whilst protecting Don't the worry. Queen. Well, there we go. Okay, Magnus Nyman, is Sai in a good zone right now? No, he's not. <laughs> he's not in a good zone at all. I think that's harsh. I think no, that's but harsh. what I mean is, I mean that in a positive way. Because he's in the pain cave, for success. sure. He's, not, he's out of the pain volcano, but he's in the pain cave. Success costs, success hurts, and that's why it's so sweet. <laughs> Jeremy Small says, come on, Sai. Some encouragement for him. Are you going to hold on to... I'm going to go and have a chat with Sai. Do you oh. want to have a go for a minute? Yeah, yeah, okay. I'll take hold of the mic. I'm going to go and have a chat with Simon. See you in a few moments' time. Bye, Matt. Don't trip over the cable. I'll take my little um, towel with me. I'll take my beer. Yeah, you better. T you, don't, you don't want to lose that. Going in. Okay. Well, we've said goodbye to Matt for now. Matt is going to go and rove and commentate. We have over five and a half thousand live viewers. Thank you all for tuning in. If you are able to, please do share it with your friends. Let's see if we can. You know, you peaked at over 900 watts. <laughs> um, at one point, your power to weight ratio was like 15. Absolutely incredible. Now things have thankfully settled down. Talk, talk us through that little tentative attack that you made just coming out of the volcano. Was that just to see what the opposition would do? Yeah, it's hard to gauge, you know. Like, it's quite a big bunch at the minute, and no one's really softened it up. It was lined out a bit going to the volcano, but I found myself on the front. We've been getting hard for a little bit, so I just thought I'll give it a squeeze. I got a little gap, that's promising, but there's no recovery on this circuit. There isn't at all, there's isn't no it? climbing, but there's no descending. So, so, so what, without giving too much away, what is, what's your strategy for the moment? You're just going to sit pretty, because this, we're okay, we're, 50, we're roughly 15 minutes into the race, still a long, long way to go. Yeah. That, that start was so, so fast. I think a lot of people are going to be cooked. Some of the speed, some of the power was, was well, incredible. Yeah, I mean, if everyone's in the same boat, then we're all going to have tired legs at the end. But I think there's some cagey riding going on. No one's really wanting to show their hand. There's a chap called Johnny Hoogerland. Don't know whether it's the Johnny Hoogerland. Johnny Hoogerland? There he is. Of Johnny Hoogerland fame. Exactly. The Former Dutch road champion, King of Mountains on the Tour de France Hoogerland yeah. fame. Now he knows how to box clever. He does. Watch him. So watch we're him. going to wait and see. Also watch the way he wears his shorts. He tends to have them up here a little bit. Like I know. Sean Yates. Well, well fortunately, to be honest with Zwift you. doesn't translate that. No, it doesn't, does so it? So decency is maintained. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Well, Thank goodness. Really. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. Well, Simon, I'll leave you to it for a bit. Let me just... Let me just mop your brow, Oh, mate. thanks, mate. God, it's just... How's your hair? Well, you tell me. It's... To be honest with you, mate, it's looking okay. It's looking okay, thankfully. Compared to any... normal? Pretty much the same. Okay, cool. That's all I can mate. ask for. But, well, your STP, you put in at 340. You spent most of the first lap way above it, but thankfully yeah. things have settled down. We'll come back 10, 15 minutes, but... 
Keep it going, Sight. You're, do, you're doing us proud. You're doing the internet proud. Thanks, mate. How are your nuts? Oh, well, I've not choked you, mate. All I've right. had a couple of nibbles. I've had some crisps as well. I'm, uh, Good lad. Half, halfway through the San Miguel, but I'm absolutely fine. Thanks for asking. Good stuff, mate. Good stuff. The sweatiest men I've ever met Matt, in a virtual world. We have got an incredible five and a half thousand live viewers. Five point five thousand. Five point five thousand. That's good. Keep watching. In fact, if you're watching, text your mates and tell them to watch. And also, when you've taxed that person, tell them to text their mates as well. Definitely. And text tactics. Share it on social media too. Or, or maybe not text, maybe use some sort of messaging service which is slightly quicker and cheaper. Okay, no, no, a, a correction. We have, a, we do, we're just getting the latest live viewing figures in and we've got a winner for our random snack competition, Matt. Andy is on the boiled silkworm pupae. You, no one's going to beat that, Andy. You right. won a well, Andy, uh, look, well, hold on a minute, Andy. I think I might need a photo of this no, boiled right. silk no lather pupae. I mean, I that. don't Andy, know. Andy, you've if... won a t shirt, get in touch. No one wants to see that. That's going to be disgusting. It will be pretty disgusting. It Meanwhile, looks worse than it me sounds. snacks aside, do you know what, Tom? What? There's a race going on. There is a race Let's going on. Let's have a little on. look. Simon is still pedalling away. His little socks off. He's just, his hair's perfect. Absolutely fine. I mopped his brow for him. Thankfully, He's just riding up below his FTP now, but he's full of belief, and he, he, he said he felt good. He said he wanted to give it a bit of a nudge, and he, he also mentioned the fact that Johnny Hoogland, of Johnny Hoogland fame, is riding as well. Johnny Hoogland, Johnny Hoogland was a rider who raced with such panache as well. In the Tour de France, yeah. yeah. Uh, Dutch road, former Dutch road yeah. champion, uh, wore the uh, coveted mountain jersey in the Tour de France, yeah. no less, and famously crashed. For that brutal, I don't think that is how he'd want his career to no, be remembered. It was an unfortunate. Sorry. He's famous for the brutal crash through the barbed wire. But he's also, he's also, but he also wore his shorts ridiculously high. He did, yeah. Um, almost like ladies' shorts, in fact, which just, was a little just bit weird. Very high shorts. Very high shorts, yeah. just like to tan. Anyway, Evidently. back to the racing. Simon's still pushing out. We've got, late, we've got our latest check in here, Matt. Yeah, go for it. So, Give us some uh, stats, Tom. We've got TJ of the Ruhr Riders in Germany. Okay. He's leading him out. Where is Simon? I can't. I think Simon's just dropped a bit further down the rankings. I think the, the, he was at our last check around ninth position, but he's hovering at the front of the bunch. Simon's pretty... He's down in 29th. That's fine. Well, he's moved up now. He's a, in about eighth or ninth position okay, as we speak. Say. Just moving up the outside of the bunch. I think that's a good thing to do. Not putting himself in the wind too much, just making sure you don't get a little breakaway. Because once... The thing about Zwift, and I've been on it quite a few times now, and I've been in a couple of little races, little skirmishes. Once you let the gap open, you know what it's like in a real road race, Tom? Or in a, in a sportif, when you try and cross a gap, it really is brutally hard on your own. And given the stand and the quality of the riders here, Simon certainly doesn't want to let a little group go at all because I don't think he's going to get too much help. I think he's one of the most feared riders by the competitors out on the road today in Watopia. Sorry to kind of head back to the comments again, Matt, but Andreas, Andreas, our sergeant on duty at the Royal Palace in Denmark, has got back in touch and said, you are allowed to use the internet when on duty. And Good apparently stuff. the Crown Prince of Denmark is a cyclist himself, so he's going to approve anyway. Does he, does he watch GCN? Well, we better hope so. If not, Andreas, maybe you know, get the message. Just give him, a, give him a nudge. Maybe send him a text. And contrast that with Todd, who's watching in San Francisco. Please don't tell my boss. Todd's boss, if you're watching. He's, he's Todd's just, boss, he's not. He's working. He's, he's just deep in concentration. Properly. He's probably on the, yeah. on the cars here or something, watching on his, on his mobile device. <laughs> I'm not, it's fine. I'm not sure that translates to America, actually. Either, probably not, actually. Probably not, no. Meanwhile... I can confirm Simon Richardson is sweating profusely, still nudging out around 350 watts. I'm, banter aside, Tom, he's going hard, rises out of the saddle. Look at the grimace on his face, still not even half distance. This is almost like riding, he's riding, looking, riding the hour, almost like an hour personal hour record. 75% of you, according to our poll on YouTube, think that Simon is going to win. Don't forget to keep commenting and let us know yeah, if you think that's actually true. That's actually... That's overwhelming. That's, the pressure's we, on. Should we not tell him that? Because the pressure might be just too it extraordinary. Him, it, might, it might break him. Well, meanwhile, I've got another beautiful view here. Still riding top ten in the bunch. Looking very aerodynamic on his, uh, on his canyon there, isn't he? Sorry. Yeah, on, yeah he's on a canyon. In, he is on in, his in, canyon. He yeah. is on his canyon, indeed. In, in game, he is on his canyon. And Domenico, who said on Facebook, said, this looks amazing, I need Zwift in my life. You should get it in your life, Domenico, but in the meantime, have a Zwift bottle. Get in touch via the Facebook comments. Indeed. Get one sent out. And if you want to, yeah, subscribe, just head over to Zwift.com. It's pretty yeah. easy to jump on board. You don't even, I mean, 
for the fully immersive, hyper-real version of Zwift, you need a smart trainer. But as a start point, you don't need a smart trainer at all. You just need uh, an internet connection, an AMP plus dongle, and a turbo trainer, and away you go. Back and onto the gravel road, Matt. They're exactly, they are. Kicking up all that flying. dust. Tron bike <coughs> on, the, on the outside. We've got uh, Martin Courtlove has got a question for you, actually, mate. Okay, He's far saying, away. saying, uh, will there be a halftime show by Matt? A halftime? I, we can try and conjure something up if you want. F fingers crossed there won't be for me. But, I just, um, uh, we just don't know what's going to happen, because this... Is live. This is live internet, and this is what it's like. This is this is just how we roll. Yeah, are we live? We are. Be, we are live. Yeah. Is, yeah. There's going to be it, no Super Bowl style halftime yeah, show. Yeah. It was our producer uh, uh, Mike there just singing at me. Um, just, Matt's yeah. halftime show would probably be that. Thanks, Tom, for that ringing endorsement of my skills. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm just going to peer into this plethora of information we have. We are in the Simon's central. back on board. <laughs> 348 watts. Ah, Very, we're 24 minutes into this race now. They're just heading round to the outside of the volcano once more. Gone through the wind farm, past the marina, and you can just see the cracked effect on the road here, replicating, I would, Im I would imagine, dried lava. I wonder what it's like to, to actually ride on in, in real life, or I whether that would be advisable. Presumably not, please don't go and ride on a volcano. Please don't do that. Yeah. Although I, I, I did ride a couple of years back on Mount Etna, very near to um, the volcano itself, but I didn't go through it on this occasion. I'll tell you what, can somebody open a window? Because it is so warm in here. It's just Keep it on, Matt. Keep it on. Absolutely ridiculous. Todd Holmes is saying that he would love a trainer that simulates gravel and cobbles. I, Do you know that what? That sounds kind of cool, but it sounds kind of tough, Todd. There is one out there. I can't remember the name of it, but there is a trainer out there that does actually simulate riding on cobbles and on gravel. Mind blown. I never knew that. There is one. Yeah, fact attack, it's, uh, nice yeah fact attack. It's just, I'm just with the tech. Right, at the lead, in the lead at the moment, T TJ, <laughs> thanks Tom, lo-fi all the time me, TJ, <laughs> T just TJ from Rural Riders is uh, currently leading, S Hedgehog, we haven't met Ed's, S Hedgehog is in second place from Great Britain, S Grey also from Britain was third at the last time check, but I think things are changing, and uh, O Ostring of Norway was in fourth place, still some very impressive watts per kilograms, but things have settled down somewhat, and that wasn't really a surprise, was it, Tom, as they head back into the volcano for, volcano for the second time, we shall give them another cheer. And although we're in this virtual world, although this is the internet, although there's nobody really here, please get, put your hands together for Simon as he comes by and give him an almighty cheer, and you know that he might somehow feel it. No? He may, he may well do. He may well do. You are with the tech, like you said. Thank you very much indeed. Here he is again, great shot of Simon there, really showing the pain. He's moving up the outside, 407 watts. His heart rate, 187 beats per minute. Do you know what his max heart rate is? is it? It's got to be close to it's that, It's got to be close. They're just coming into the volcano again. Simon. The action is about to get hot. <laughs> Absolutely seen this, mate. We better just <laughs> swivel around on our chairs again. I think they're just coming through into our shot any moment. Simon still hovering near the head of affairs. And they're about to come around behind us. Go on, Si! Go come on, on Si! Good work, Si. Warn my son! <laughs> Unbelievable. It's, he's actually moved up. Has Look, he? he's, he's, gone for, he's gone for another surge. That's the effect of the tech. He's opened up a gap, Tom. Surge. What? He's away. He still two Sucks laps and no, a quarter no. to There's go. 15 miles to go. Full of confidence. Don't do it. Full of Full of magma, full of belief. Look at this. But again, oh, he's, he's been, been bought back by Tron. That's going to confuse him, isn't it? Tron. And somebody called Onquatil for crying out loud. Full of hitters, this race. Absolutely incredible Packed scenes full here. of hitters. But I think because of that amazing surge by Simon, a couple of riders have actually lost contact with the front group. Caught in his afterburners. This is mightily impressive display, but the bunch all back together. Next time through, it's going to be two laps to go. Of GCN versus Zwift. Yeah, Ryan Ballard on Facebook. In answer to your question, that that's to be confirmed still. Oh. He wants to know when we're racing. When we're racing. Yeah. To that, be no, that sorry, that is to be confirmed. Yeah, uh, contract confirmed. negotiations are still underway, uh, and we do need to undergo a full medical, which we understand is a very long lead time. So it could be quite a while before you yeah, see it, Tom it and I well be, and, uh, on Zwift racing. 
at this sort of tempo. We could go for a club run, me and you on Zwift, and, and stream that live, because that could, would yeah. be amazing. Imagine the bants, me and you having a coffee, yeah, running about tw- 20k an hour yeah, around perfect. Zwift. Could, Should we do that? We could do that. We could Let's do, do that. that. Yeah, you guys definitely. are still watching. It'd be amazing. And uh, Adam Wood said, oh my God, Cy yeah. is smoking after that effort following the volcano. He is smoking it's and also steaming at the same time. Uh, I think next time through, the next five or ten, ten minutes, Tom, what do you reckon? You're going to take him a bead on through and maybe... Do and we have a bead on with any... We do. We do. We've oh, got okay. some um, yeah, SAS uh, tabs in his bead on there. And there's also a little SAS gel as well, just to fuel them up. Because uh, I tell you what, inter- an interesting set at the end of this. When I go on Zwift and do a kind of a tempo session, I'd, in three, 40 minutes I'd generally burn about 750 calories. Yeah. Should we have a sweepstake yeah. for how many calories you viewers think that someone's going to burn through this effort. And, and uh, going to get a wattage bazooka hoodie. A wattage bazooka hoodie for the nearest to the calorie that someone's going to burn today. Again, I gave you a rough estimate. Three quarters an hour for me, 750. Just have a guess. There Just ballpark. How many calories is Simon Richardson going to burn? He's going to burn a few. We're going to top him up in a minute with this SAS gel. And, uh, do you think he want a Peroni? Maybe we should just leave it or some nuts? I don't think he want a Peroni. I think he might want, might want a bead on. A bead on, definitely a bead on. We certainly got a bead on. Shall I, I go in there? I think, no, no don't, don't mop his brow with that. That's no, a giveaway that's price. that's a prize. Sorry. Okay. These, these are really coveted. We're they are very coveted. We've had Steve Cummings had one of these. What Peter are you going to give it away for? What are you going to give it away for? Um... I don't know, really. Um, I th- I'm just trying to think. How about the most inspired, motivational three words for Simon as we head into the second part of this race? So you've That's got ten minutes. That's yeah, the most, ins- the most ins- inspirational three words you can think of. Punt them onto Facebook. We're going to choose the best, and they'll be awarded with this coveted and rather beautiful Watch His Bazooka T-shirt. Come on, Cy doesn't count. No, you, come on, you, Cy. You, won't, you, won't you basically owe us a T-shirt. It's something as lame as come on, Cy. Although that, you know, that, that'll kind of do, but you're not going to win a prize. Meanwhile, Simon looking, well... Nearing halfway. Nearing halfway. It won't be long before Should we come to... Should we go give him a top-up, do you think? Yeah, do you want to go for it, I'll, uh, Tom? I can give him a top-up, yeah. Do you re- gel and bottle, man? I'll go, for the, I'll go for the double. He is expecting a bead on. And, of course, make sure he throws the other one off okay. as well. We could get that sweaty one signed and, and given to a fan as well, but maybe not. Absolutely incredible here. Thanks. Good job. Just at this late stage of the race. Well, not late, but nearly halfway through. But Simon focused, concentrated, essentially in a world of his own making. <laughs> in a world of his own making. Made by other people. <laughs> okay. I don't know, I'm just rambling now. Okay, but um, I tell you, I tell you, one person who certainly isn't rambling, and that's our very own Simon Richardson, absolutely storming. Already two or three little tentative attacks to try and break the rhythm, perhaps the will of his rivals. A little wry smile there from Simon, intending to me, he's got something left under the hood for these last two laps. Yes, definitely. Scott O'Brien's attempt at the motivational three words of go on bra. No. Go so on, Brat. Scott, mm, okay. Scott, not quite. No. It's a good effort, though. Thank it's you. It's not bad. Interesting spelling. Oh. Oh, now that's a good one. Had it been Dan Lloyd that was riding, I think that would have won. The motivational three <laughs> words here from Andy Stark, beer at finish. Very good. Dave W. Pittman said, instead of sending last year, why didn't you just send up the team car? We could have sent up the team car, couldn't we? We should, should have done. Hindsight is a wonderful thing. Indeed. Well... Simon, just for the, fir- the first time, actually, I've seen him dip below 300 watts, indicating to me he's trying to take stock of the situation, just trying to really measure his effort. I think as we head into the final quarter of an hour of this race, that's when... Again, the that's action wh- is going to get... It's, it's going to kick seriously, off. Seriously, it is. seriously, seriously. It certainly is. Hot. He looks, he looks somewhat distressed at the moment as they just go under Ocean Boulevard. You can just see the ocean above them. And this wonderfully a welcome rendered, breather after the vo- a wel- volcano. I'm uh, sure. A welcome breather, just cooling themselves down. Simon just surfing the wheels at the moment, just moving g- gingerly up the outside of this virtual yet remarkably realistic peloton under the sea. He's a man on form, that's for sure. He certainly is, but I think he's uh, testing his very limits. We know Simon's still a very keen rider, commutes to work most days of the week, gets out on his bike when he can. And clearly wants to win, but what will his strategy be? Will he go long? He certainly won't leave it to a sprint. We know he hasn't got the most remarkable of sprints, so he's going to have to do something in the closing stages. 
Where do you think, Tom, with that, giving the game away, he may launch one? What do you think? What would you do if you were in Simon's rather sweaty shoes right now? That's a, that's a tough question, Matt. Um, I think I would probably... I think he's going to need to go with about, with about a K to go, isn't he? He's going to, going to need to do a long one, try and take him by surprise. Hope that the bunch kind of looks around for two or three seconds and just gun it from there. There's a little, because as they come out of, out of the tunnel, there's a, a little bit of a 400-meter four, section. They swing left. It kicks up, then drops down, but then the drag to the line... Although it's fast, it's actually slightly uphill all the way, so it actually might suit a rider of Simon's attributes, but you're could. quite right, he, he, he does need to go long, but I think at the moment it's about conserving as much energy as he can. I'm sure he's familiar with some of the riders who are particularly strong. Let's have a look at the situation out on the road so far. This time was taken at 32 minutes, just a few moments ago. They're 34 minutes into the race now. It was B. Hansen of uh, uh, Denmark who was in the lead. Then I. Hansen of Kiss A for Great Britain in second place. And then D. Schmidheine of Switzerland. And then we had the uh, British pairing of K. Little, M. Wall. And then looking down, Simon, uh, over the last time check, was in the eighth position, sitting pretty, pushing out at that particular point, 6.3 watts per kilogram. This is absolutely brutal. Matt, so we have got a tweet in from Matthew Heyman, of course. Oh, Matty Heyman. The legend, Paris-Roubaix champion of last year, who said, Not 190 beats a minute. My God, they're ripping into it. And he would know. I mean, that comes from the winner of the most important monument ever. Who trained I mean, on Zwift, having broken, having broken a bone in his arm. I'm sorry, I can't remember which one. And it, run I, think up to it, it. I think it was either his right or his left arm. I think it was his right arm. There's only okay. two. But okay. yeah, he rested it on a... Sorry, Tom. A bit, a bit facetious <laughs> yeah. there. Rested it on a step ladder and went out for like 200 Ks on Zwift and then nailed Paris-Roubaix. Rolled Bonin in the final. Just smoked them. So I'm, just, the, the I'm welling up again thinking about that how was, amazing that was. That was, that, that, was. that was an incredible day as a cycling fan. Okay, okay. Thanks, Matt, for that comment. Yes, just, thank uh, you, just Matt. composing myself again. Anyway, back on the road, bunch still all together. Simon still breathing heavily, still pushing out well over 300 watts. Heart rate, 184. I'm going to nip in a minute, in about five or ten minutes, give Simon a little bit of a pep talk and actually try and quiz him about his actual heart rate. But what you have to bear in mind, I think, Tom, is quite important for viewers watching Zwift. We've got a fan in there. It's really hot. Bear in mind, on two occasions already, he's actually been to the centre of a volcano Add to the fact oh, he's actually riding the face. indoors. He's starting to suffer. Come on, Si. He is suffering there, but he's suffering. He's suffering for his art. He's suffering for GCN. He's suffering for the fans. <laughs> he's suffering he's for doing everybody. It for you. He's doing it for you. He's actually doing it for your entertainment while you kind and, of eat and snacks. Ours, and, ours. and ours as well. It's yeah. actually quite good entertainment. Otherwise, isn't it? otherwise, we'd have to do this. Right. It's, it's actually pretty <laughs> entertaining. He is, isn't it? No, he's an entertainer and a sportsman. All and rolled sportsman. into one. Don't forget, Tom and Matt, will, we, Matt and I will be racing on Zwift at a date to be confirmed. Uh, in the next five years. <laughs> Okay, also. Michael Chabris says, Cy just lapped me twice. Well, we hope he waved when he went by, <laughs> Michael, because it is important to wave at your fellow cyclists. I did get lapped in a cyclocross race within four laps twice <laughs> as well. So it is possible, but uh, yeah, there we go. You but I know Simon still... You crashed twice on the first lap. I did well. crash twice. Somebody fell off in front of me. But you can see that on, uh, on YouTube, incidentally. <laughs> Matt, Matt, Matt does cyclocross. I don't know where you'd click. You just have to find it separately than, than this. Anyway... Back to this race, where people aren't crashing. People are going very, very hard. They are. Um, we've got some more live timing updates. I'm just trying to flick to Simon's stats at the moment. It's, uh, where is he? I he's just dropped. There's still, I don't think there's anything to worry about. He's 25th, but that bunch is still pretty hefty. He's 25th. He's in the bunch. Yeah. He's at one second he's pretty behind, hefty. so that's, he's right on the wheel there. But still, I mean, look at this. 185 beats a minute Hun on the heart rate. He is suffering. Come on, Si. Keep it up, mate. 95 RPM. As you say... 350 watts. He's hardly dropped below. I think there's only one point, uh, Tom, that I've actually seen him drop below 200, uh, 300 watts. Sorry. Just look at his muscles there. Absolutely ripped to shreds. Don't look too closely because there are a few patches of fuzzy hair. Wasn't a particularly good job with the clippers. Ever so slightly <laughs> unprofessional. So please, if you're watching in 4K, just knock it back a little bit perhaps because it's a little bit alarming. And if you need advice in that department, Matt has actually starred in a video called How to Shave Your Legs Like a Pro. You were in it as well, I Tom, and well. we were a lot younger in those days. Yeah, anyway, 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 we have now got 2.2, and a, two point two. we have got, well, we've got, got above 5,500 again, Matt. 5.6 thousand viewers. Honestly, Incredible. thanks so much for watching. This is great fun. I hope you're enjoying it. I hope it's given you a great insight into just doing this sort of stuff live, a great insight into Zwift, and make sure, we've still got half an hour, 25 minutes to go. If you know anybody who might, want, who might want to watch this, 
Just text them, just DM them, whatever you need to do. Tell them, get online, watch this. It's great fun. Simon is suffering for his art. Is Simon, is Simon just become detached from that group or is he chasing down another group? I'm not too sure. Let's have a look. Simon pushing three, nearly still 400 watts, just going through the dust storm. This is on the bottom part of the circuit. They've just gone over the marina, over the wooden bridge. It looks like he's riding through a rather dusty Paru Bay. Yeah. Hopefully the fog or the mist, the dust will clear and we can see exactly where Simon is. 326 watts now, pedaling quite a high cadence, uh, between 90 and 100 RPM. That heart rate still floating at around 185. I can tell you that is absolutely brutal. We've also getting in some support in from Jody Cundy, Paralympic cycling legend. Who's absolute said, legend? Thanks for getting in touch, Jody. And a big Zwift fan as well, yeah. I know. Not sure which is tougher: watching the GCN li tweet live feed between races or racing the track league. <sighs> Hope, well, hopefully this it's is the, the track league. This Jody. is hopefully hard to this watch. This is an enjoyable break. Is, is Simon off the front on his own? Is he attacked? Let's have a little look. I think he might. Just be a little bit. I'm not he's on the to, drop, so you don't see that very drop. often. You don't see it very. He's trying to shut down a gap here. 340 watts. 91 RPM, 185 beats. Simon on the drop, trying to get as Look much as face. he can. I think he's trying on, to cross Simon. the gap here. Try and find out exactly that. Hopefully, we'll get a bit of an update in relation to exactly where Simon is on the course at the moment. The last leader that we had information from was D. Allenby of Kiss A. Had four British riders in front. K. Little, one of the favourites. C. Williams in third. And somebody calling themselves incredibly S. Hedgehog in fourth place. And then we have Canadian rider B. Bonifazzi in fifth. So Simon, Simon, is, Simon is dropped. We're getting in the comments. Come on, guys. Give him a bit of support. Yeah, Simon has just been detached from this group. But the standard remarkably high here is putting a real battle here. And one thing's for certain. Simon will not give up. One more time through the volcano. And then they have another lap. So Simon, digging as deep as he can now. Come on, Simon, Come mate. On, Simon. Keep it going. Good work, buddy. And as Sai gets dropped, we're heading up to almost 6,000 people watching. 6,000 people. combined. Absolutely incredible. incredible. Keep the comments coming, please. And again, although Simon has just been detached from this group, what is going to help him try and get back in contact is words of encouragement from yourselves. Remember, there still is an award for the best three-word phrase of encouragement for our Simon. He certainly needs it at the moment, but one thing's for sure, he will not give up until the very bitter end. Still around a lap and a third to go. We're 41 minutes into this Zwift versus GCN Watopia race. Of course, going around the forward long Watopia Volcano course, brand new course, we'll say brand new, he's been around for a couple of weeks now, absolutely fascinating, he gets right through the centre of a volcano, this is the longer course, there is a shorter 4.5k course, essentially a, a little kind of criterion around the centre of the volcano, but Simon's up this discernible drag now, heading into the centre of the volcano itself, and then any moment we'll see him behind us on our screen, look at some data here, 352 watts up this drag, 90 RPM, 191 <laughs> BPM, and he's just Rather about to head Simon. past the magma. It won't be long before he's back in. He's going to swing right into the volcano. What an effort this is, Tom, from our Go mate. on, si. he, is, he is doing an incredible, incredible job, as, are, as is everyone who's racing. Fact, Everybody is. I, th I think the standard here, you look at you know, the, the class of rider that Simon is, and, and he does train hard, but I think it just shows these races really, well, the standard amazingly high and some of the stats some of the data we're seeing is mightily impressive Simon they're out of the saddle this there is are... brutal this is absolutely brutal man and he should be coming behind us any moment I think he is actually in let's have a little look round cheer come on Si come on Si come on Si come on come on yes. Si dig in mate that's the penultimate time through the centre of the volcano slight downhill section here an opportunity for Simon to just ease back, recuperate, but then the gradient starts to bite again. So hardly any opportunity, as Simon said, zero opportunity, uh, zero opportunity to rest. But unfortunately, he is detached from the, gr the front group here, and here we are back up at the front group. This is so. This is what makes it. I mean, this is literally how a road race kind of unfolds. If you do get a breakaway, riders swapping turns on the yep, front, having yep. the ability to save energy. Once you're detached on your own, it's so hard to get back in contact. Yeah, it is definitely, definitely. Especially, yeah, especially if you let your head drop, if you let your motivation drop, there's often no way back. Well, Simon's still fighting gamely on. I think I'm going to pop in and just give him a little bit of encouragement. If you just keep on the comments, I think, there, that I think could push him over the edge. Well, I'll, I'm going to go and do it anyway. Yeah, we no, go no, back. No, we no, go no. back. We go back a long it way. Looks like he's crying. I think I push him over the edge anyway, to be honest with you. But I'm going to have a quick word. Okay. 
I'll leave you to it. Give him my best. Oh, oh mate, this is up. Sorry, mate. It's, it's a volcano. It's really hot. It's really hot. I didn't expect that much sweat. Sorry. <laughs> Do you know what, mate? We just had Matt Heyman, winner of Paris-Roubaix, complimenting you on your ride. You couldn't, um, couldn't believe the heart rate. <laughs> you, you, uh, you hardly dropped below 300 watts. But isn't it fair to say that the standards on this Zwift Kiss Race is absolutely amazing, isn't it? There's some really fit guys on here. There are, like, there's some proper wattage going down. And, you know, you kind of hide as best you can. But I think as well, these guys really know how to play it to their advantage. You know, most of them are saving their little power-ups until the end. But every now and then you can just quickly get a cheeky little boost, have a rest, put in a sting and attack. Yeah, it's fascinating racing. I want to come back, mate. I'm gutted I've been popped. So there's going to be more. Well, well me and Lassie are toying with the idea of uh, maybe doing a race within the next couple of years. Potentially, perhaps, that might be in the parkland, subject to contract negotiations. But you're definitely back, <laughs> without a shadow of a doubt. But uh, keep it going, Sight. I know you won't give up to the bitter end, but again, that far, I mean, although you're pretty fit, is it fair to say that the way they went out of the blocks, no matter how fit you are, that takes so much out of your reserves, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I always find the first time I do a race in a little while, I find I really struggle at about half distance, so like half an hour. And then it just almost needs that effort to wake your body up, tell it that it's okay to hurt, because you know, you get, it hurts. And then your body just goes into shutdown, doesn't it? Yep. And you just end up telling yourself like, come on, more, more, more. Because you can look at your power as well and see that it's way down. But also, but, yeah, I mean, we're talking uh, about the different groups on the road, the, the, the four categories of riders, the different watts per kilo, the different FTPs. And for the first part of that race, you're riding at, you're riding at sorry, 900 watts, then it was holding at like 400 watts, 450. Yeah. And you know, if your FTP is 340, there's going to be a price to pay for that sort of effort so early on. Isn't it? That's absolutely right. I mean, you can train for that, obviously. That's what cyclocross riders do. You know, the ability to go super deep and then come back and sit at the threshold. But it takes training, it takes practice, it takes racing on Zwift week in, week out. Definitely. And uh, that's why I want to come back. You will certainly come back. This is, I get a bit of a learning curve. Yeah. You're going to come back fitter, maybe with a bit more tactical now. Because as you say, although a lot of it's about ability, it's about there's a, there's a certain road craft to this sort of Zwift race, isn't there? The de you definitely need to know what you're doing, where to place yourself. Absolutely. And you know, these guys, like you said, they've got the power. They also have the ability to race on Zwift. And uh, it's a new skill to learn. Like road skills translate for sure. But, you know, unfortunately there was no aero helmet power up you could get in the last K of a race because that would really help. Well, so you've got just under one more lap to go. Give it a nudge for the fans. We've got over five and a half thousand people <laughs> watching you at the moment, mate. We've got people complimenting you left, right and center from, from pro riders. Classics winners, the fans are loving it, mate. Dig deep, keep it going. We're all right, then. You. one you're lap. Up, you're up for stuff? Yeah, I've got enough water, I think, on the floor to keep you're me up going for a while. Crisps, potato based snacks? No, I'm going to get my head down, mate. No nuts till the end. No nuts till the fat lady sings. Here we go, mate. Right, before. We've got some amazing comments from Matt. I think T-shirt, GCM bottles, Rift bottle, and pop pack phone case worthy comments. Um, okay, here we go. Yeah, we've got someone as Dean Downing, in fact, has said. Oh, you Dino. Two, yeah, hi, Dean. You two are the new Chuckle Brothers. Amazing banter. I don't know if that's worth that's, that's worth a fist bump, isn't it? Yeah, thanks, Dean. Which um, one? Which one am I? I don't even know the okay, names. Yeah. No, Barry, yeah. If you don't know who the Chuckle Brothers are and you're not from the UK, look them up. Bit weird. You probably won't laugh. Anyway. Um, perfectly honest with you. Jan Martin, <laughs> his partner has just come in from yoga and he's very much struggling to explain exactly what he's doing watching a live race on a virtual cycling platform. Add to the mix in, inside a volcano and I bet yeah. his partner's a little bit worried about what he might or may not have taken. 
And thank to be you honest to Colin Gourlay also for your kind words about the stream. He says, incredible use of technology. And we do have no, it is. I mean, on that, a more regular basis. I think you know, me and Tom are having a laugh. We're talking through this race. Simon's doing, doing what he can, but there's a lot of people behind the scenes here delivering this to you. It's complicated, but it's great fun, and hopefully you're loving it, and hopefully again. We've still got time. We've still got 15 minutes left. Simon's promised this is going to go deep. So if anybody that you think you know might want to watch this, tell them now, and let's get this boost. Let's get this up to sort of seven or 8,000 people watching concurrently. It's absolutely fascinating. I'm having a whale of a time. It's and incredible. Simon, I think, you might, I think Simon might get a second wind as well. Okay. Dean James, what do you think of Dean James's three-word motivation? I think you might. We might just, it, do you know what it is? It, it's basically, imagine Dan Lloyd. <laughs> poor, poor old Simon. He's doing his best, and he's, he's getting just that, put the abuse on after that thrown at him. Here he is going deep. Just nudged under 300 watts now, but I think Simon. Just nudged get, under. Yeah, just nudged that under. Mean? I know. I don't even know what that means, to be honest. I'm just getting caught up in the emotion of of how Simon's applied himself tonight. Went deep. Tried to follow the leaders. He's learned a lot. Okay, he's not going to come out the winner, but do you know what? He's going to come back stronger, better. And a little bit angry. Yeah, Matt, this is what you look like when you're interviewing Cy from Yap van der Bruggen. Yap, thank you for your support, and please do tune in again. That's the, I think he's, got, he's actually got my good side there. <laughs> I don't think I have a good side, to be perfectly honest with you. But there yeah, we go. a lot of encouragement through from Cy in the comments across YouTube and Facebook still. It's good to see. Thanks, he's going guys. well. Look at that dew drop on the end of his nose. I mean, that is, that's just the Grim, really. effort personified. So Simon, deep into his final lap now. Let's just look back on the screen about who is actually leading the race just scrolling through now. Now, the last time check in at 47 minutes. So that was just a couple of minutes ago. It was uh, the Swiss rider, D. Schneidy, who was uh, riding for KISS, who is in the lead. Then we had the Polish rider, P. Sosniewski, of Team P. L. KISS. Uh, third and fourth place goes to two British riders, L. Monstra and S. Hedgehog. And then the Swiss rider, F. Kopex, in fifth place. Who is going to win? There's some real good riders there. Again... If you look at Simon now riding at just under 200 watts, some of these riders still, Tom, this deep into the race, still putting out wattages of just, hundred, of just under sorry, 400 watts. So our leader still kicking out 394 watts. Mightily impressive stuff. And just to highlight the level, the levels of riding on Zwift, of course, the Canyon Shram Women's Pro Team took of course. a rider from Zwift to professional this year. What, what, what a great mention. Basically, yeah, they, they had a, a, comp a competition, basically, that started at the start of the year to to first and foremost encourage to get more women on bikes. And ultimately, the prize was, through a series of round-robin events, on purely on Zwift, was select a woman rider to basically ride for the women's pro team. We'll look it up in a second. The name of the lady escapes him, but she has now got a pro contract for this year with the team. The final took place in Mallorca at the training camp, and through Zwift, they're now selected what could be a future women's champion. And Absolutely looking, looking fantastic. Look at these numbers as well, Matt. You know, people aren't far off. This is, no. this is very, incredibly fit participants, very, very high level. You, you've, you've got to be very, very fit to keep kicking out these numbers. And this is going to be a very, very close race. And it looks like it could come down to a bunch gallop. We'll try and get the latest shot of the group on the screen as we, uh, here we go. This is the front of the group at the moment. It is Kay Little on the front. One of the favourites from Team Experiment. FTP of 352 watts, watts per kilo, 5.17. That's kind of like international standard, that. It's really, really classy. And we know that he's won several of these uh, Zwift KISS events before. So very, very experienced campaigner yeah, sure. in the virtual world. Okay, so Zwift, on the, uh, in the comments underneath our Facebook Live video, have asked... Do you want to see Sai race again? And it's got over 150 likes so far, and the more likes it gets... He's going to be back. He's going to be back. He will be back, without a shadow of a doubt. He's determined. He knows what, he got, he knows what he's got to do now. As he just rounds... Well, he just Heads into past, the gravel section. Just through the wind farm. Come on, Cy. And Gary Reeves has been listening to your commentary, Max. He heard you say that uh, Cy's a big fan of commuting by bike. Because he's, he's very concerned for him, actually. He's saying, is one of the boys going to give Cy a lift home after this? We hope so. Oh, I don't know. I, I might get the train timetable up, to be honest with you, but uh, yeah. I'm not too sure. There's, to a, bus. There's, a, there's a bus. There's a bus. I mean, He'll be fine. He might just stay in the office. I think he's got a sleeping bag under his desk. Okay. Alistair Connolly is saying, can the GCN boys commentate on all Pro Tour races? I'd love it. Okay. You might do. Oh, Nigel Fishwick is Nigel Fishwick's a winner. That is an incredible comment. You have won a Sapphire Blue GCN T-shirt. Thanks very much, Tom. Also available in shop.globalcyclingnetwork.com. I haven't got one of those. I might. Nigel Fishwick's words myself. of encouragement. It's not three words, but it's still funny. Don't laugh at anything in the tank. Ooh. <laughs> I like that. That's good. Although technically it's five words, but we'll, I think yeah, we'll give him that. Nigel, that's get, so in touch on, get in touch. Facebook comments and volcano-based messages. We'll get one sent out to you. 
Well, Simon, he said he would go for it in the last sort of third of this race. Meanwhile, so Simon nudging 400 watts. We've got a couple of tentative attacks at the front. Kay Little has just surged ahead. Remember, they're just coming up to the final time through the volcano. 53 minutes into the race, probably around 11 or 12 minutes of racing still to go. And we will have our winner. It's R. Stevens of Belgium who's now taken the front. Little is in second place at the last, or the last time check, sorry. But it's changing the fluidity of the peloton. The riders perhaps looking at each other. And the pace from within the center of the lead group now dropped to 250 watts. Perhaps suggesting, Tom, the riders are now starting to look at each other. Perhaps thinking about where they're going to let rip that final burst of energy to perhaps take them to victory. They're just skirting around the left-hand side of the volcano now. And as you can see, there it is in front. They'll be looping inside the volcano very, very shortly. And will we see a race-winning move come from hot. all in? They are going to certainly get, get very hot. hot. And of course, we're going to spin round on our resplendent red swivel chairs and cheer them through. And there's Simon a little bit further down the road, probably a couple of minutes behind now, playing that lonely but determined furrow. And as we said, We'll definitely see Simon back in the mix on his Zwift Rafe very, very soon. Thanks for all of your comments over on Facebook. It's been Thanks. absolutely been overwhelmed with replying. Please, please it's do keep them coming. It has it's been, been great. Incredible. It's been wonderful. So back at the centre of the peloton. Still Stevens, Little, Cartwright, Bonifats are there, Monstra as well. Hansen also there of Denmark. A lot of moving around, shimmying for the right sort of position. And you can see the lava streaming down the volcano. Besides looking into the camera, he, does, he's, he looks like he's suffering there. He, does he certainly like is suffering, he, but he won't give up. Matt. So many people behind him, he will not give up. He's going to fight all the way to the line. And do you know what? I can't... It's going to be like Rocky. It's, a re, it's, going, to be like a, it's going to be like a big sequel. Massive. What do you think? It'll be like, almost like pay-per-view, I reckon. It'll be amazing. It won't be pay-per-view. It won't be, definitely won't be pay-per-view, but I think the demand <laughs> to see Simon back in the mix, or oh, that could have been a little bit controversial, please... If, we, if this gets edited, that will just go straight out anyway. It's not, yeah, so it won't, but but won't this is live. Edited, but, you know, uh, no, but no, yes. there's going to be a rematch without a shadow of a doubt. And uh, Simon will be yeah, back in the ring, as it were. Back, at, yeah. Steven's still up in front. They're just going to be coming into the volcano for the very last time. And as you can see, Tom, the speed's just knocking down a little bit. Just from the centre of the group. People just thinking, watching, waiting, playing cat and mouse. Could this open the door for Simon to get back in contact? And just saying that, the speed has really picked up 450 watts as they got this slight drag into the centre of the Watopia volcano. The lead group really tearing things up now as they head into the last five minutes of this race, the last couple of kilometres. And remember the famous, the famous finishing straight down to Watopia Pier. I've seen the finish of so many of these races so far, but Tom, who's it going to be? I, who's I, your I, money on? I don't, I don't know, I've just, I've seen a post, so on, you very kindly, all, many of you in your hundreds have given a thumbs up to a post on the GCN live Facebook video that said that I'm going to be riding one of the next races, so it looks like it's happening. Has that been yeah. confirmed in our yeah. absence? There we go. Yeah, I'm going round to be joined by Matt Stevens if possible. No, he's, okay, it's just going to be me actually. Just, yeah. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it, so, it's going to hurt. Somebody's got to do the chatting bit, haven't they, really? I can hand We've up bottles. We've got Dan and Sai, we have Dan and Sai. Well, you know. Yeah. There we go. I think you'd be really good at it, you know, with Thanks, your mate. cyclocross background going from the gun and your ability to suffer. What we could do when you are in it, we could have a special graphic with a suffer meter as well. I think we could just have a camera on my face. It would, it would do we much could. the same thing. But I'm looking we forward could. to that. Thank you for all of your votes. Keep the comments coming in. Keep the shares going. Let's see how many views we can get. Well, the lead group, Tom, are heading into the volcano very, very shortly. Just going up what I like to... to well, it's known as magma drag, I think. Magma dragma. Magma the Dragma. Dragma. Just heading into the volcano for the very last time. Here is your lead group. Cartwright is there. Little is also there. Little surging through the centre. It's edge of the seat stuff. Little has surged off the front. Open up a small lead as we head into the last 16, 1700 metres of this race. One hour long, 49 kilometres, comprising of four laps of the Watopia volcano route. And he has again been brought to heel. Was that an attack too early? Has he shown his cards too soon? I, that is, that's an incredible effort. He's flying. Well, there we go. He's Let's absolutely flying. Back to Simon now. Won't be long before he himself is back into the center of the volcano. Still not giving up, still pushing some impressive watts. Still a very elevated heart rate, indicating how determined. Indicating suffering. Indicating, is indicating that he's effort. working extremely hard. 
Meanwhile, here we are, the lead group have exited the volcano now. It won't be long before they come into the finishing straight. They've yet to go under or through the tunnel, across the water, and then rejoin the, the, the course. We're going under the flam we've gone under the flam rouge, Matt. We are into the final kilometer. The final, the final kilometer. kilometer. The this is really hotting up. We're going to see this some super powers here. This is just going to move across so I can have a look at the stats on the screen. We're just going through the tunnel for the very last time. It Kim, Liz, Kim Little going left. for it. Yeah, Kim Little is uh, going for it, certainly. We've got C. Williams from Great Britain in there as well. Cartwright as well. So four British riders at the head of affairs, closely followed by a run from Canada and from Belgium too. As I said, a really international field here, but several of the riders from the UK mustering near the front. The USA in the mix as well. Cartwright takes the lead. Regis is also there. Look at this, Tom, really lifting the power as we head into the finishing straight. Who do you think it's going to be? Uh, my money's on Little. I'm going to go for Little as well. He's got a proven track record. We're back with Simon just for a few moments, still kicking out an impressive amount of watts. Heart rate up at around 180 beats per minute. He promised us he would force it all the way to the line. But here we are, back on the bit of circuit that will be so familiar to many of you who know Zwift. Back on the finishing straight in Watopia now, coming into the last 500 metres of this race. Who's going to take the win? Little, the fancy... Oh, they've been dropped all over the place. They're Tom. flying everywhere. This is, this is incredible stuff. This is a fantastic aerial, aerial shot. I've got a nut lodged in my throat as we hit the finishing straight. You could not make this up, but it is happening. I might have a quick swig, but no, I'm not. I'm going to fight all the way to the line, That's just like that. the riders. Little is in second place at the moment. Can't ride in second place. Little takes first place again. Who's going to take it on the line? Just coming up the outside is Clues. Can't ride there too. Williams, Little, Williams, Little. 100 metres to go. Williams still in the lead. Little in second place. Williams is still there. Williams is still there. Little is in the lead. Who's going to take it on the line? Oh, it looks like it was Williams or photo, Biddle. Photo, photo. <laughs> I couldn't quite see because I didn't have my glasses on. Apologies for that. We'll get confirmation very, very soon. I just, I, I've still got that nut lodged. Can you? <laughs> <laughs> you Thanks very much. Crumbs. <laughs> so, who was it? Just going to get confirmation from our stewards. Matt, Matt is just going to go and get confirmation from the race commissaires, but. While he does that, thank you all for watching, thank you all for sharing, and thank you all for liking this video. When Sai finishes the race, we're going to try and grab a couple of words with him, but in the meantime, keep the comments coming in. Thank you for, for that. It was actually Williams who won from Little and then Coop in third place. Absolutely rip-roaring finale. Simon's still out on the course, so please, on, si. in a virtual world, please. He's actually behind us. Sorry, we're just going to move away. Come on, Sai! Come on, Sai! All the way, mate! <laughs> But um, I'm, we should apologise to Kim Little because the infamous GCN prediction curse hit him. I know. Still hit him got, with less than a kilometre to go, still got Matt. top three. That's Perhaps it was that, 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 lot, well, that minute, so the, sorry, that attack within the magma. Maybe that was just a little move too soon, but what an absolutely fantastic scintillating battle we had. Four or five riders at the front, but that finishing straight, very, very difficult. Gently rises all the way to the line, but a fantastic battle. I hope you've enjoyed it. But... Still, you need to put your hands together. Please to keep those encouragements coming. Do you know what? I'm going to give one more award again for the best single word of encouragement for Simon as he approaches his final kilometre. There's another T-shirt in the bag for the most wonderfully encouraging single word of encouragement. Gavin Wenborn is another bottle winner with just what is going on with Matt's sideburns. Are they prehensile? They're not actually. There's bits of hair. I can't actually. I'm 47. I can't grow a beard. It's weird. <laughs> Simon's still going. Come on, Sight. Final kilometre for Simon. He said he would give it a bit of a tweak near the end, lifting that wattage up. Dan's calm face, commentating in the back, look, looking, looking on in the background, just encouraging him over the line. Yeah, that's all you need, isn't it? <laughs> I'm not sure it is. Dan drawn in coffee, <laughs> staring down at you. Smiling all the way to the line this side. What a sterling effort it has been from him. But he'll be back to fight another day without a shadow of a doubt. And I'm sure everybody at home will be as well. It's been, it's been a wonderful race. It's been great fun. What it's been absolutely it, amazing. It, it's, been, it's been terrific fun, Matt. So Stephen Warwick has come in with bonification as his one-word encouragement. Bonification. We've got RS2, Wenger, Jamie Burrell, Curry. Ooh. Yeah. Well, okay, we've good one. Well, it's still yet to cross the line, so you've got maybe another minute or so to get in those singular words of encouragement, and you could win yourself a GCN t shirt. 
which instantly are also available in the shop to purchase as well. shop.globalcyclingnetwork.com. That wasn't an ad break, was it? It was, it was not it, an ad break. It was seamless. It was seamless. But Absolutely. seamlessly seeking into Simon, into the finishing straight. He's got 400 metres to go. I hope it, all of you at home, whether you're at home or in a lay-by, perhaps in a department store, uh, while your missus goes off and shops, I don't know where you might be. You could be in the toilet. Keep cheering for Sai. He can hear you. He's got about 250 metres to go. Come on, Sai! GCN would just like to apologise for Matt's over-exuberance during this commentary. Babies woken, headphones smashed, and speakers exploded around Really? The oh, no. Most of those being good things. Thank you for all your support. Sorry about that. Hundreds of likes, though, Matt. That's great. It's, I, I just love it. Don't it's great. Don't the exuberance. Keep I'm the not. Exuberance Come on, all the way. I tell you what, you, you call Simon to the line. Here he is. Where, how far has he got to go? About Come on, Si. Meters. Come on. Call 150 metres. Uh, he's flying towards the finish here. He's still... He's still overtaking other people, maybe in the race, maybe not. But what a fantastic effort from our man Richardson, Matt. Should we go and rove again? And have a you, rove you go and rove. I'll, I'll, go and I'll rove. hold the fort here. You hold the fort. I think we might have confirmation of the result in a few minutes. We can just read through that again. But I'll go we can, okay. Oh, my God. Get the camera on the sweat. Uh. That is all, all effort and a little bit of water that I might tip over myself. That is real. That is effort. <laughs> oh. That was amazing. Simon, fair play, mate. Thanks, mate. I'm not going to pack on the back again. You're no, that's too, all right. You're just too soggy, to be honest with you. <laughs> but what a race. I mean, you've been riding for, well, I think you clocked an hour and four minutes. And the winners did about just over an hour, which is... It's pretty quick, that. It's about 49k an hour average speed. Good maths. It's incredible, thanks very much indeed, mate. Incredible standard of riding, but what an experience for you. Yeah, that was amazing. The difficult thing, as you know, is when you get popped on a flat road race and then trying to keep going to the finish. We had one memorable occasion, didn't we? Where we did. We spent about 30k out the back of a lead group of five. We did. Just it, it you know, strengthened our bond. Yeah, yeah. But it did, it did. But I felt a little bit like a really rubbish Thomas Vokler, like, you know, a weight of expectation on my shoulders. And you just can't say no, you just got to keep going, and that hurts so much. Oh, my word. But still, it's good fun, isn't it? God, I love the pain. It's, it's, it's amazing, though, how when I first went on Zwift, I, I kind of didn't really know what it would be like, but it's really, I know we keep using the word immersive, but it is like proper racing, isn't it? You are there, and it, you can go ridiculously deep yeah. with this, can't you? Ridiculously deep. I don't know whether you noticed that I was going. But it was just like a real road race where you start, you know, you're at the front of the bunch, everything's cool, and then you just start to slide a little bit further back, and then you're like, oh, I just need to close that gap. Ah, uh, I need to close that gap, and then eventually you just see the back of the bunch, and you're just like, no, nope, that's it, that's game over. And uh, that was my race today, unfortunately. But do you want to know the final place, mate? Uh, go on. Twenty-fourth. Twenty-fourth. Good bad. work. Good oh work. dear. I think it was 119 that started out in your race. Just like, well, yeah, 119. We had, about, I think it was about roughly 650 riders over the four races wow. themselves. And who was uh, the winner? Um, Williams. Williams. Ahead of Little. Little uh, was second. Just so did him on the line. Brit, Brit, did he? Yeah, Brit, Brit's first and second, and that was a, there was a, a clutch of. First, uh, second, and 24th. And 24th yeah. as well. So, uh, well, that's an important place to finish, 24th, isn't it? It's, Someone's got to do it. Well, it's top 25. At the yeah, end I'll take that. Which, uh, if you look top at Top 24 as well. Simply, yeah. yeah but arguably my best race result of on the road in the last four years, I think. So, you know. You've got to be happy with that. Yeah, absolutely, really. yeah. On top 25. Road, actually, well, yeah, almost. <laughs> so, a cup, just. If we can take something away from this, uh, apart from your, your sort of reduction in body weight due to sort of dehydration, yeah. taking this into the next race, which we hope maybe in the next couple yeah. months time there'll be a rematch, what two things have you learned or do you think you might do a little bit differently? Well, certainly preparation. So you've got to come in having done some pretty hard work and repeated hard efforts over threshold. Because it's, you know, it's not, it's not easy to do that in training, but you must if you're going to come into race. Otherwise, you use races for training. So you come back next week and you last longer. Then the other thing is just, is just try and hold back because it's just so tempting, isn't it? Just to squeeze and, you, you know. You did that little cheeky, two little cheeky I did twice and that on. probably undid me, you know. But you learn, don't you? Well, you live and learn. You know, at the age of 33, you know, not done much racing. No. So, you know, yeah, chalk, chalk one up. Interesting thing for me though, we, we had uh, <laughs> Matty Heyman, Perry Bay, when yeah. you mentioned him already, and mentioning, you a bit of encouragement. mentioning yeah. about your heart rate and your power. I'm interested to know, I mean, I think it's important to tell the viewers at home that when you're in an environment like this, especially going through a volcano for crying yeah. out loud, you do get a bit of what we call heart rate float <laughs> yeah. between five and ten beats. So what normally 
is your max heart rate because you were hovering at times around 187, 190, 185, which is super high. That's yeah. zone three, four stuff, or zone four. Yeah, well, I don't normally ride with a heart rate monitor anymore, but I'm, <laughs> that's what I used to be able to race a mountain bike race at for a right. couple of hours. So, like, but you're right, that heat is a killer. So, you know, any tips, we, we gave the tips in the FTP test video, yep. it's have a cool environment, you know, big fan on you and just try and keep that body temperature down because that'll make a big difference, I think. I mean, uh, a couple of people have asked, uh, myself and Tom noticed as well, what was it like, aside from our encouragement, what was it like having Dan Lloyd looking down on you and sort of encouraging you along the way as well? Well, that is quite something? inspirational, you know, like every, roughly every kilometre I thought to myself, what would Dan do? You know, and uh, in his days on the Cervelo test team, I, I'm sure you remember he was a member. I do seem to remember. Yeah, yeah, and, uh, yeah, and so it's just, what would Dan do? And hiding the wheels, I think, is probably the answer. So yeah. that's what I tried to do as much as possible. As little as um, possible. Yeah. Fair play, mate. Fair well, yeah, that was cool, eh? How was it for you guys? It was great. It yeah. was good. We were exhausted, as you yeah. can see. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I nearly again choked on a nut. Oh, you did 150 metres to go, I had a nut incident. Oh, man. Uh, yeah. You've got to work on that. I, no, Talk again, about I, learning I, points. I'm going to take away something from this as well. Yeah. So I eat nuts in the last 2K. Yeah. Of the race. That's it cool. Was, it was breathless stuff for us as well, so si. edge of the seat, edge of the seat thing. Yeah. Well, I heard you getting excited. Yeah, you were definitely. very excited. It was lovely seeing you through the volcano every time as well. We sort of <laughs> turn around the, under seats. the sea as well. But uh, just as important as the event itself, a nice little warm down. So we'll leave you to it. Thanks, yeah. mate. We'll go back in the booth and. Uh, Cheers. Well, yeah. Until yeah. next time, mate. Until, Until next, next time. time. <sighs> there we go. We are still We're still in the volcano. We well, let's get this mic right. Well, thanks very much for watching. Thank you all for watching. Yeah. Thank you for all the likes, all the comments, and all the shares. Very much Definitely. appreciated. Yeah. Um, hopefully, we'll be doing one of these things very, very soon. And uh, again, I would imagine you may have subscribed to GCN yeah. if you're watching this video. If you haven't, click on the globe, and that way you will not miss another GCN video. And make sure you tell your mates as well. And can you give this a like as well? And if, if you, you want to get it. involved with Swift. Swift.com. It's Swift.com. Just under 10 bucks a month. Philly Boots. It. It's good fun. You might even get a shout out from GCN yeah, on you commentary. Can, you can join us for a ride as well. And we've even got training sessions on the river as well. Hot. Definitely. <laughs>